All are one. What is up, Transformers Nation? Transformers Insta View. Here we are with the How to Transform series, episode 2. Today we'll be looking at Transformers Prime, Robots in Disguise, Megatron, Voyager Class. This was requested by, according to my theory, um, a dude named, give me a second, Deadly Assassinate. I don't know who true that is, but yeah, um, may I just say this figure pops out very easily, especially here, may just be mine, but whatever. I'm gonna start off by taking this weapon. His is gonna be easy, I can do his in like three seconds, I'm not joking. Uh, unpeg these, because they are on pegs, so I'll show you it here on this side. Don't know how well it may actually, okay, I gotta re-peg that thing in. Don't know how well, I don't know if you can even just zoom in a little. As you see, it is actually on a peg, so it's a peg and it goes in there. Yay, you learned something. Um, then take this, I'm going to take this thing forward. Is it forward? Yeah, I think it's forward. Okay, so now you should have something looking like this, kind of like a mess. Um, these, you're just going to take this, and do, and do on the same kind of pegs, right in there as you can see. They're big enough so you can see it. Uh, I'll just zoom in. Hopefully, I don't have to zoom in, just hopefully. Anyways, um... Then you're gonna take this part and orientate this down halfway. Orientate these. It's kind of hard to explain. Orientate these stuff up. Do it on this side in case you didn't see it before, which you probably didn't. Uh, yeah. And now these are interrupting it, so it can't go completely. So what you're gonna do? Push this thing up. But be careful because I just like hurt my finger just now, and. Should work in theory. Yeah. So now we have something nonetheless like this. Orientate this thing in. Do this. And collapse it. And everything should work in theory. Yeah. Everything should work. Just align stuff up properly. Same thing here. Uh, everything should work in theory, like I said before. Uh, like this peg has to be lined up with that peg hole. This peg, that pe peg hole. Yep. Nice clapping sound, which is exactly what we need to hear. Not lying. Um, kelp flood. Another problem I had with this figure is he doesn't stand well, only if he's holding his gun. But um, here we are at the top of this figure, I suppose. Uh, you can kind of see where this is going. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, we can take these back, then fold this completely down. It allows you to do that now. Once these are completely back, we you take these up. Then, oops, I did this wrong. Uh, spread this back out. Then boom. And that's really cool. To see the Decepticon logo just come out of nowhere. I would link my review down below, but unfortunately, I do not have a review of this guy. I did, but then got deleted by YouTube due to copyright stuff. And, um, yeah. We're well, not deleted, we moved more. It is just the word I prefer to use. Uh, crud. It's hard to get kind of tricky actually. We take this up or you take this around. Okay there you go. So then take this this arm's just loose. It wasn't like that from the day I got it, it just became loose over time. Ravages of time, I suppose. Uh, there you go. Here he is. Not too much to this figure actually. Um just odd. He kinda he always yeah he always wants to lead because he only has three Feet thing, but yeah, I'll do a review of him one day, so that's pretty much about it. Uh, his weapon can come right here, but it does weigh him down a little. Uh, should not a little, a lot. As long as you keep it pointing down like this, yeah, and after you kind of like, you know, get him into one of those really cool poses, where you can get him into somewhat of a pose. It's just because of the back cable, he really wants to go back. And you can only take these forwards to help, but kind of looks bad. I prefer to keep that like that. It was just like, you know, get him into, oops, wrong side. Somewhat of a pose, which is hard with RAD Megatron because uh, of his, just, just the, the, no effort, well, effort was put into this, but yeah, there you go. That's somewhat of a pose, goofy pose, of course. Back, I'm thinking, should I just reverse and I'll show you what the heck. YOLO, right? Okay, so we're four minutes in, I gotta hurry up. Well, actually, like, five minutes in, but whatever. Uh, YOLO, oops, 
YOLO, because you got a solo in this song. This, 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 this. Orientation, orientation, okay. So now we got the legs somewhat done. We'll get down to the legs again, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna orientate this stuff up. Orientate up, it's like I just showed you, and now you wanna know, yeah. What if my battery's low? Not my battery, my memory. Excuse, excuse I. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take these guys up just like that. Look kind of awkward. Yeah, that's actually exactly what you want. Then you're gonna only take them down like that. In theory. So I'll show you again. Take this, or you take this thing down, and then there should be a peg right there. Yeah, in theory. Um, in theory, so I'm not saying it's gonna work for you. I'm just saying in theory that's how you usually do it. Uh, and then. Here you're gonna take this. Uh, we'll bring this thing halfway around, not completely, just halfway for now, just so you can get some clearance. Like I said, he's an iffy figure. Well, I didn't say that yet, but just said it, I guess. Then we'll you take this thing up. So then keep it up. So then you have some clearance for that, which can be a pain in the butt. I'm just giving key that to you. Um, hmm. Uh, which, I wouldn't say dislike it, but I just don't like that part of the transformation, which we just covered. Uh, or, orientate these completely down, orientate these up, do that. Oops. Put this thing up. Put this thing down around. Holy crud, my voice is hurting, don't ask me why. Um, and I'll just orientate it. I think it depends on which way you, I prefer it the way it works for me, and this is the way it works, because it doesn't pop off like it did the last time. This is all iffy. I'm not lying, this is just all horrendously, emphasis on the word horrendously iffy. Um, let me take that out. Uh, just try to make it as show accurate as you can, because like, it's all up to personal preference, and I hate when toys are up to personal preference. I would prefer, like I said before, if, <sighs> if they were hardcore, as in, it's one way to transform it, that's that, don't like it, go get another toy, um, kind of thing, but guess not. Let me take it out. Okay, oh, okay, that's how you do it. Okay, I guess I just forgot over time, because I do not transform this figure often, uh, and this is somewhat what you have. Um, this is the most show accurate, I mean, these are up to personal preferences, I forgot how they look inside the show, but I just prefer to keep it that way, that's just me. Um, that like this, and yeah, um, that's pretty much about it, that's what you're left with, still, nonetheless, that's what you're left with, um, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, if you haven't already, like this video, if you're a transformer of any faction, and most importantly, it's all toys of fun, once again, I want to thank you for watching, it's all toys of fun.